She was fine. That's my treat. Merci. You good? Hi, my brother. Wanna get a coffee? Life of an ex team member, because I can't say ex man. Because Angie is not an ex man. How much is it? Uh, you to go to We to go to Okay. Watch out. So. Did you get us VIP seats? Let's take a seat. So in China, you don't sit on seats? You no, crunch. you have, yeah. Good morning, XT. Yeah. Dying here at 5.30. What's up, guys? Good morning. <laughs> this is Max from the X. Release. Where? Good morning, Team X. Hope you guys are ready for a crazy day with the X team again. Today we're checking out a new factory in Ningbo, two hours away from Shanghai. Uh, we're sizing up a new supplier to bring you guys the X suit faster and better. Uh, we've got a full day booked, following by our party with one of our X team member Ben and Marie. So do stay tuned for a crazy day up ahead. Let's do it. Ningbo guys. So Ningbo is like the armpit of China. It's where all the low quality stuff and the best suits in the world are being made. <laughs> the best suit he means X suit. The X suit. Yeah. Oh by the way, we only reference suits by X suit level. So like X suit is here and then everything else is like Wow, it's so dark. Wow. Don't act like you know me, like you know. So today's gonna be one of uh, the wildest. We're like fully packed. We've been up since 6.30 in the morning. We're in Ningbo. We're checking out one of um, our new suppliers, a new potential supplier. Uh, quite exciting. They work with some big brand names. what we don't do. <laughs> so it's Angie's gonna be doing for the women collection. Feeling good. Productive, definitely. Thanks to Miss Andrea, I think we might. I don't wanna speak too fast, cause uh, you never know. Definitely potential. I wonder how we can get Angie upset. I mean, to what level? Angie, if you wanna come work on Sunday, we're gonna be in the office. I would directly say no. <laughs> Sophie! How, how's this angle? Uh, it's better, it's much better. <laughs> Hey guys, we're gonna measure out our friend here and uh, ex team member Felipe. So, just a few uh, little tips about sizing a suit properly. You know, in my personal opinion, the three most important parts are always that the chest doesn't, you know, pierce open when you're wearing a suit. Always look clean, button, you should see none of these lines here. Another important aspect is the, the waist. You want the waist to kind of, uh, the waist of the jacket to kind of clinch onto your waist to give you that kind of contour and um, bicep also very important. And that's thanks to our stretch fabric, we were able to reduce the amount of fabric on the bicep. Last thing is just uh, shoulders. You wanna make sure that the shoulders are always passing, especially if you're a, a fitter guy with rounder shoulders. You wanna make sure that the shoulder of the jacket uh, end up straight here and the sleeve starts cleaning down so you don't have that bulging uh, going on in this section here. So our suit comes in, in 20 different sizes. What we do on our platform is kind of give you the tools to either measure yourself or if you already know your measurement, then you can just fit it in through our size chart. But if you don't and you do want to measure yourself, uh, important, there's like four main specs that you want to get uh, and we'll, we'll show them here on Felipe. So we'll start with the chest. Chest, you want to get the, the fuller, roundest, widest part at the chest. So you want to make sure that the tape is straight on the back, it's not going either down or too high up. It should be pretty parallel to the front. Over the chest, always leave two fingers of ease. Breathe in. Let the, ch the, let the tape expand. Okay, natural, there you go. So you're at about 106, because you want to look at the overall 
uh, suit measurements. So when you're taking your measurements, you'll take all four of them and you'll compare them to our size chart and make sure that everything fits in. Next, we'll do the waist. Same principle. The waist, uh, the chest is at the widest part, the waist as well. The widest part uh, where your belly is, usually that's around your navel point. Should be just about here. It's at 86. 0.5. Okay, when you're measuring the shoulders, you want to feel out the bone. So from bone to bone, basically, as if I were to draw a straight line, so where the jacket should end right here. Also, you want to make sure that you're not measuring the shoulder straight, because the jacket does have a curve on the top. So you'll be going from the bone point here and above. So that's your third measurement point. And then the last one, normally you would have both the sleeve and the jacket length. I think that's a little bit confusing and also our jacket length are done standard. They're not too long, not too short. You start where the shoulder ended and you'll go down in a three point. So you, don't want, you do not want to go straight down because a jacket sleeve, if you see here, it's not straight. There's a certain curve, an inward curve to the seam. So when you're measuring, you want to take account for that curve. So you'll start here at the top, center, You'll go down to the elbow, just hold it in place. You can let that go and then follow that curve down. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the jacket. Those will be the main, um, the main specs you want to look out for. The chest, the waist, the shoulder, and the length of your sleeve. That'll also determine the length of the, of the garment. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We're now with Marie. Happy birthday, girl. Happy birthday. All the best. 